When I was a student, new materials were all about discovering new horizons in space. Today, our problems are very much closer to home, from sustainable energy to clean water. This makes my science not just an interesting occupation, but a really important one for society as a whole. My research is in the area of high voltage systems, so I work on overhead power lines, cables, transformers. I came to Manchester 20 years ago to do my PhD. I did my PhD in this lab, the high voltage lab, and I was working on lightning protection of wind turbines. And my research is now used in wind turbines across the world. My particular area of research is understanding the challenges of urban poverty in the global south. Those people face immense problems and really through having the chance to share some of the challenges and difficulties in their life, I've become committed to finding ways to address those. Well, one of my uh, main interests is working in the prevention, early detection and early treatment of, uh, of cancer. What attracted me to the University of Manchester was the synergy that exists between the university, the National Health Service and the Cancer Research UK. I think that uh, the possibility of translating the research efficiently and effectively is one of the most attractive things. I'm very much wedded to working with this new uh, emerging science called synthetic biology and applying that to fine and speciality chemicals uh, manufacture. The reason I came to Manchester is that I'm a committed interdisciplinary scientist and I really like to move uh, from different disciplines like chemistry, physics, computational science, uh, engineering, even though I'm trained as a, a, as a biologist. I can do that very easily here at Manchester, particularly uh, in an institute like this where there are no boundaries between different uh, scientific disciplines. Manchester was a pretty obvious place for me, a university that was strong in the disciplines, that I could ground the work that I do in towns and cities of the Global South with the best sociology, anthropology, government, politics. Not only did it have a development institute that was rooted in those disciplines, but it was also a city that I felt was a good place to think through the challenges of global development. It has its history. First industrial city with long experience of what it takes to build a prosperous urban centre, but also the challenges that come with that. There's no other university where I could have gone that has a facility on this scale where I can do experiments, not just fundamental research, but also about scaling up products, services, technologies and policies that make a real difference to people's lives. I came to Manchester because it presented me with new opportunities to do new science, to build up a world-class research group exploiting world-class facilities. This enables us to have X-ray eyes to look deep inside materials to understand how they behave and to design the materials of the future. Thank you.